Hi, and welcome back to the land of the Mark II PB power router. This is the first trial of the Mark IIa, uh, the code for which I put on the Open Energy Monitor forum yesterday. I've not actually tried it out in the garage, so it was about time that uh, I did to make sure it worked. So I put it on the laptop here, um, ran it in the mode that it's posted, which is called Tally Mode. Um, which is good for calibration. Uh, I calibrated it using uh, a 3 kilowatt heater here and I found that the calibration for the rig uh, which I've got here, which still is my original prototype Mark II, um, the calibration was a few percent different than it was on the nice uh, PCB version that I have inside. Um, I think I'm now running with a cal factor of a power cal factor of 0 0.0. 0.065 as opposed to 0 0.061 or something like that, but it's very little different. Um, the code um, ran fine, the calibration ran fine. Um, it's now sitting there running in um, ordinary mode, so I've removed the um, tally mode hash define line, so it's running in perfectly ordinary mode. Um, and we're monitoring as normal the neutral wire coming into the house. Um, now, unfortunately, um, it's not as pleasant a day as uh, we would like. Uh, we're not generating any surplus PV, so um, it's not immediately obvious how to um, check that the system's working. But there, there is an easy way, which I've shown before. Um, and what you do is you run uh, an extra core through your CT. Um, this is mains power that's coming out of my house, but by running it more than one time round the CT, then the effect of that electricity coming in from the mains is more than compensated for by the um, power that's going out. So the CT sees uh, the difference between the power that's coming in on the big wire and the power that's going out essentially twice. So if I put a kilowatt um, of power on in my house, um, then it looks like um, a kilowatt of surplus PV is being generated. So it allows you to check that the system's working, although you're not actually um, uh, diverting free power or diverting power that you're paying for, but I'm sure all this is, uh, is fairly straightforward. Anyway, so that's all plugged in and live. My heater is um, plugged in, but not on. Um, at the moment, we're generating um, no, uh, not generating any surplus power. I could put this onto constant and we're now heating at three heating our water at three kilowatts turn him off again what we want to do is to simulate some pv and that should start flicking and all i do is i switch on the um, space heater on up something like 750 switch him on and we should start flicking there we go so the delay was the energy bucket uh, charging up and i should be able to if I switch my surplus PV off, that should stop flicking uh, immediately. If I can turn that, that's gone off. Back on again. Every time I switch it off, the energy bucket empties. So it takes a while for the flicking to restart. There it goes. If I put the fire on more, um, that's a three kilowatt heater on so we've now got three kilowatts coming from the mains being recorded twice going back out through the CT so the difference between the three kilowatts coming in and the sort of <laughs> surplus three kilowatts going out um, is three kilowatts which should be enough for our immersion heater uh, give or take so that's pretty well on continuously so I think that's a fairly good demo that the uh, Mark IIa is indeed doing what it says it does. Uh, the energy bucket isn't 3,600 joules now, it's some number up in the millions, uh, as is shown by when you first uh, plug the serial monitor in. Um, I'm sorry I've got the sum wrong, so the power cal value, which is 0.06 something, um, should appear on the bottom of the equation rather than the top, so the numbers clearly look wrong. Um, but the, the code is working and Given a bit of sunshine, we should start generating some um, some free heat again. So uh, uh, I look forward to hearing how other people are using it. It's a straightforward drop-in replacement for the uh, previous Mark II code, but uh, it's a lot uh, a lot slicker. So I look forward to hearing how people are able to make uh, use of it. Cheers for now.